Hey everybody, in this video we're going to have a quick look at a throw into the end zone by Japan that was called back on a travel, a fantastic layout catch by Matsuno, and then a breakdown of Dylan Freechild getting a layout D for the first turnover of the game. Katsuta taps the disc on the floor and immediately throws a hammer over the top to Arakawa, who sees Matsuno and accelerates out of his throw downfield. Matsuno and number 11 Kamimura exchange a couple of passes before Kamimura tries to break the force and another travel is called. Kamimura decelerates rapidly after catching the disc but kind of jumps as he puts his pivot foot down and then shuffles it a couple more times as he's pivoting out for the throw. It's a breakside throw and the defender is inches away so this travel call is completely justified. And the disc floats into the end zone, not the intended target. A travel will bring this back. Japan was still fortunate that this was caught in the end zone, otherwise it would have been the first turnover of the game. The disc gets checked in and passed to Matsuno, and Tanaka causes a pick in the stack downfield, which doesn't affect the throw to Kichikawa. Matsuno, the crafty fakes before he throws. Kichikawa overthrows Matsuno, who makes an amazing attempt to catch the disc. He says it was up, USA saying it was down. My first instinct was to say that it would be up, but we're going to take here a look at the replay. And that looks up to me. Even in super slow motion, it's hard to tell whether the disc was up or down. I posed the question to Instagram, and here's what people thought. Oh, the magic of technology proving the Japanese right in this instance. Japan checked the disc in and swing it over to the far side of the field where the first turnover of the game happens. Keep your eye on Dylan Freechild who is marking Kichikawa. Notice how he takes the initiative to reposition as the disc moves. He's keeping half an eye on the disc meaning when it's thrown for a swing he's able to react a fraction of a second before Japan's captain Kichikawa and has position to get a fantastic layout D. But wait a minute, where did Matt Rader come from? Three passes before the turn, Gibson appears to be creating a sandwich or bracketing setup with Rader. This means Rader is better positioned to cover the breakside. Like Freechild, Rader keeps an eye on the disc and is able to react very early to Japan's attack, putting himself in a great position to clean up with a completely necessary D. I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to hear about the next one and I'll see you again soon. It's going to take to generate a turnover in this game.